search the bodies. You check the bodies of those lying scattered around the plaza. Find nothing of use or interest. Okay, I guess we'll explore. Uh, head west into the coalition. Head right into the federation. Right, yeah, right. West, east, whatever. Left, west, east, right. North and to the shopping district. Again, I just want to play System Shock 2. North to the hydroponics and reactor section. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's check the Federation. Uh, you're at the Federation ring, wing. It is bland and uniform looking. The Federation tends to play by the book after all. There are several signs you can follow from here. Open the infirmary. Open the R&D. The barracks. Uh, we'll just start with the infirmary. Access denied. Also, access denied. Access. Wait, no. Wait. It's just barricaded. <laughs> I was say access night again. Uh, the entrance of the barracks is barricaded with a large wooden supply crates. Most likely to keep out. Move the crates. Uh, lots of elbow grease. We get inside. Access the barracks. Access denied. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Coalition, how's it going? Uh, cultural items of leech, rockman, and slug lie scattered about with a confusing a layout of the Coalition's society lights itself. The area thankfully is organized enough to have signage. Which points to your uh, you several points you to several promising locations. Research labs access denied. The brig. Uh, door stairs beyond repair line. You walk in unopposed. Hooray! <laughs> uh, you hear at least four voices. You look over to the left of the guard desk, and it's been stripped clean. There's nothing valuable, not even a power cable. To your right are the prisoner cells. They are surprisingly filled with a variety of different races. All seeming alive at first glance. There are a crystal, a leech, a mantis, and two rockmen. They are wandering around aimlessly, speaking ram phrases, and no one in particular, such as, It's Thursday. Great. I uh, you notice know, a small panel that reads emergency prisoner release. It is enabled, which means their cells are unlocked, yet they oddly haven't left. Decide not to chance it and hit the panel to re engage the lock. You motivate. Or you motivate. Or motivate. Motion your crew to file out of the room quietly and leave the brig. There's no sense at risking our lives in battles. Uh, I mean, we could. We could shoot them, I guess. Investigate the storage area. You follow the sign to storage. It's a level one security door, which we might be able to open. Proceed. Send one of your crew in first. Make sure the room isn't him. Sorry, Jimmy. You're gonna have to go in first. I mean, I'll take the chance with the zombified plant man. But the storage closet? Mm-mm. Inside, it's within reason to proceed inside. Unsurprisingly, the room is a haphazard mess of storage crates with varying symbols and labels, with no effort made to organize them whatsoever. Some crates that stand out are tape, explosives, and string. They're all still shut, so you would need a proper tool to pry them open. Uh, long still and wooden poles shoved to the corner, tied together with some zip ties. They're about 10 feet long each. I, mean, I don't have a crowbar or anything. Barracks. Main door appears to be a large forklift flipped on its side, blocking the main door. It appears to have crashed. How hard the crew tries, you're unable to move it. We are unfortunately not certified. The door appears to have been severely damaged. If you move the vehicle, you may not be able to open it. Okay, well that's all that. I'm half tempted to go back down to uh, the supply closet. We'll check all the other wings first. Navigate around the corner and head towards the recreation area. The hallway appears to be hit by heavy weapon fire from an enemy ship. Presumably a harmony vessel, as there is a massive emergency door blocking your path halfway down the hall. Empty void of space beyond it. You make out the rest of the pathway past the gaping hole in the ship, but it would be extremely dangerous and require a special piece of equipment you don't think you are going to find to pull, to pull off. And you turn back. All right, and then we have hydroponics, which I believe is locked. No, south was locked. Hydroponics is north. Uh, you arrive at the hydroponics, as you may already know, hydroponics is a type of horticulture, a subset of hydroculture, which involves growing plants, usually crops without soil. Station appears to be using the hydroponics facility as a way to generate oxygen. Search the area extensively. You search the hydroponics section of the facility. Many of the rooms are simply filled with plants. Like, you gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, you mentally note a fire extinguisher. Just take it. You never know. <laughs> Continue searching. At the very end of the hydroponic section in a large room with a catwalk, like, what happens, right? If we go to Antarctica and we need to put a fire out in a corner of a room to get a magnum. 
You always take the fire extinguisher. You never know. Uh, you can see a differing or see differing machinery at the bottom of the drop off that seems to support ship functions. You hope they don't fall as there's no survive or you hope you don't fall as there's no surviving that fall. Uh, you continue to look around and spot a strange sight: the body of a man on a ledge. He definitely should not be on about 50 to 20 feet down the, off the catwalk. The body is crumpled in a heap. Most likely, their bones were broken in the fall. Lying next to them is a metal attaché case. And you wonder why or how he got down there. Did he jump? What could be in the case? Well, there were all those poles, right? Also, uh, makes me think... Fallout New Vegas... Uh, dead money guy. You can find the, uh, the guy who made it on a pipe. He fell off a catwalk onto a pipe. He has a briefcase and stuff. Maybe a double bag with stuff, but still fell into a pipe down in a pit and you can go down and get the stuff. On well, the attached AK case you may want to think of how you're gonna reach it. Nothing stands out to you. Well, let's go back to the uh volition, storage area. Proceed inside. I just I want the I want the things. I want the poles. Uh okay. We probably need the tape first. I was thinking like we could just hook it. We probably wanna just glue tape to the end of it. So, uh, let's leave elevator, first floor, exit, rendezvous, explore, custodian, crowbar, yep, explore, uh, straight to the central plaza, to the second floor, exit, go to coalition, storage area, proceed, open the tape. Take the duct tape with you. I'm not going to open the other ones. Eh, uh, you know what? I'll open the, uh... I had to go back in to do this anyway. Combine the duct tape with the poles found. I gotta use the crowbar to open the rope. 50 feet of some sturdy rope. You never know. You might need it. Uh, and we'll leave the coalition wing. We will head to hydroponics. Search the area. Continue searching. View plans. We got this sweet pole. You tip to grab the attached A case using the improvised or imp in the improved pole. Fashion with duct tape and ten foot long poles. You manage to hook the pole around the handle of the case without much trouble and start moving the pole back up. Unfortunately, the heavy weight of the case causes the pole to start to sag. The case slides off the pole straight into the abyss. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. I guess we'll leave hydroponics for now. Third floor. Well, we'll just uh, we'll go get what is it? More rope. <laughs> Go all the way down to the bottom of the abyss. Right at the third floor, Central Plaza. This floor's plaza is much less extravagant and much smaller. More, or most likely because it's the top of the station and probably focused more on fall integrity than comfort. And yeah, the paint job feels like an afterthought. The ceiling is also significantly shorter. And you should probably reach, or you could probably reach it if you stood on a crew member's shoulders. You only see a single hallway with one fork. Uh, follow the fort to the left to investigate the weapon systems. Uh, you follow the hallway until you reach the main weapon systems, which oversee the power flow and general functionality of the station's weapons. The room appears to be completely sabotaged, and the station is a sane duck unless one were to spend a long time repairing them. Pipes are burst, valves are torn, and discarded on the floor. Terminals are smashed, there's even the corpse of a crystal lodged in one of the coolant tanks, but frankly, the room is a disaster. Check for stuff. Check the bodies for anything valuable, but find nothing but personal items on each. There's no way you can fix the web system until you know the station is at least reasonably secure. Nor do you know if the required parts are readily available. You and your crew cannot be too careful, however. After what you experience at the security station, you fire two shots into the head of each of the deceased. Uh, okay. And one into the torso to make sure they clear, or they're clear of whatever evil is controlling their bodies. Uh, look into the grating. I uh, spotted a dead body slept on the floor of the ladder through the metal grating on the floor. They appear to be inside the maintenance access tunnel, which is sealed by a heavy uh, metal hatch. Well, I got a crowbar. Using the crowbar, you manage to pry open the maintenance hatch. You ask one of your crew members to hold the hatch open in case it tries to slam shut the trap. You just, like, throw it all the way open. Your crew members protest that they should check it out so you can remain at the top of the ladder in relative safety, but you insist you should be the one to do it. You scale down the ladder easily and begin checking the body. It appears to be the body of a human soldier. 
He appears to have been critically injured, dragging himself down a ladder and close the hatch behind him to buy him time or perhaps wait rescue. Unfortunately for him, rescue never came. And he bled out right there. You sympathize for the soldier, but you have your own survival to worry about searching his body. Then his belongings, you find a packet of gum, with uh, which you pocket and take note to give some to your crew can they, so they can fixate on chewing gum instead of the nerves. You also find a much more valuable object, a little two key card. Uh, you can't roll out something the tunnel killed him instead. You aren't staying down there. I uh, share a packet of gum with your crew. A small victory. Wonderful. Uh, long hallway, command center. Both the scar reader and keypad. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much with that. Back to the first. No, second floor. We want second floor because that's where Federation Wing is. Open the infirmary. Swipe the security guard access. The infirmary doors make a clicking noise, and the doors now appear to be unlocked. So you pull it open by the handle. As you fall into the infirmary with the queue, weapons ready, a voice rings out from the dark. Who goes there? Uh, as about the situation, skinny formalities, you immediately ask what is going on within the banal station. Low pitch, the voice responds. The man's voice has changed. Harmony attack, protocol, Zeta. Ramirez asks why he's in here, and he orders him to step out of the shadows. Here he step forward. It appears to be a tall human male. Your crew demands he steps into the light. Didn't he just do that? But he doesn't seem to care. I hear something the man says, but you're certain you haven't heard a thing. You hear that? He's trying to get in. He's insane! Why would I get on the ground? Am I yelling at him to get on the ground? Or am I getting on the ground? Yeah, I'll just yell at him. Why not? Man gets on the ground now. The man appears to sway. Takes another step back from you. Martha, forgive me. The man is speaking gibberish, and you can't determine why. It's, it's Superman. Oh no. Wait, is it? Wasn't the the plot of that dumb movie was both Batman and Superman had the same mom name? <laughs> they both Martha. It could be Batman. Uh, his toe shifts out of nowhere. He says, "State your name and rank." Nobody complies with the quest. You try to shoot him if he does not comply. Uh, Private Barnes, you sh were seeing your grandmother cooks. I think it's wrong, very wrong. Mary refuses to step out of the shadows and keeps speaking only vaguely related to phrases, as if he's talking at you rather than to you. You shoot the man through the heart. Okay. Since you can't fully make out his head, the impact knocks the man back a few inches and he slips to the ground. Clean hit. You're almost certain of it. A few moments pass and your crew will wait your order. I still train at the body before you can speak. How are you? Hear high pitch, buzzing sound coming from the man's body. You see dozens of tiny nano machines pouring out of the gunshot wound. Dim light of the infirmary, you and your crew fire rapidly at the nano machines. That good luck with that. Like you might want to get some fly swatters or something. Back out of the room, you immediately grab a piece of loose pipe on the floor and slam the door shut. And then bar the door with the pipe. Small arms fire can take care of the engine nano machines, but not without risk of potentially nasty injuries. We need a better weapon to take care of those. Um, yeah, we don't have key card for any of this other stuff. Oh wait, maybe. Uh. Barracks are open. There's a dozen of rooms, each with standard Federation bunk beds and clothing chests layout. Come through the rooms with your crew and find little of use until you stumble across a room that looks more like an office. The plaque above it reads Bromwell Rudkin, search his office. You, invest, or you investigate the office of Commander Bromwell. It is an old-fashioned decor. It is, it is an old-fashioned decor. Okay. Uh, but it is rather clean and tidy compared to most rooms you've encountered. Some small trophies sit collecting dust in display case. And some medals are hung up on the wall. The man seems proud of his accomplishments, at least. And there's no terminal. Check the desk. The desk is a mess of unfinished letters and envelopes, and the desk has several unlocked drawers of generic office supplies. Wonderful. Blue. Stables. It's also a drawer that stands out to you. You try and open it. The drawer is electronically locked, but your patience... Uh, has worn thin, you swiftly kick it several times to dent it to the pride open uh, with your crowbar. Find a stack of documents using uh, or within a manila folder in this now unlocked drawer. Most of them are entirely useless in terms of survival or extremely long, but you do find a memo that Broadwell wrote himself. Skimming the memo appears to be a reminder of what the command center its security code is. You decide to pocket the memo and read through it. Instruct your crew to file out of the barracks uh, with you so nobody is left behind in the adjacent rooms. Okay, well, uh, we got the key code, not the key card, the key code. Four. 
I guess we get a bomb, I guess. That's either bombs. <laughs> uh, you take some incendiary grenades, you never know. Do you think I can use that on the robots? Maybe. Uh, barracks, can't do it. So I get back to Federation. Extinguisher and a grenade. There we go. Move the barricade on the door, swing it open violently, and then pull the pin on the incendiary grenade. Throw it at the banana shooter storm. A direct hit. Once you're certain that they have died, you uh, extinguish the fire. While well, you were off searching around the station for a way to eliminate the energy, it appears the energy has completely ransacked the room. Most objects in the room are either entirely destroyed or damaged beyond repair. All, all terminals are smashed, a good amount of medical supplies and equipment have been rendered useless or contaminated. It's a bad scene. The only thing that stands out to you is the body of a man in the corner of the room who appears to be on a stretcher. <laughs> nope. Examine. Take a deep breath and approach the body of the man. Tired of taking chances, you shoot the man three times in the face and twice in the torso. Uh, he doesn't move. The man appears to be wearing a high-ranking uniform, and you hope it is at the commander of the station uh, that you just shot 48 times. But it is, and he's dead. Your chances of getting answers uh, are significantly lower, but you refuse to let the station or situation discourage you. You press on for your own sanity and for that of your crew. Furthermore, you recover something very valuable. A level 5 key card. That'd be handy. Uh, so can I go to R&D? I can go to R&D. So I have the key card and enter. The lab is filled with strange beakers of chemicals, experimental storage containers, and half-finished prototypes. Just laying around. Proto prototypes are not labeled in any way, so you aren't comfortable touching them in case one turns you into a cup of Italian ice cream. The lab also is surprisingly clear of dead personnel, most likely because it's level 5. Uh, you explore the room thoroughly and find two things of note. Firstly, you find a middle floor lying on a desk labeled Protocol Zeta Prototype. Secondly, you find a very large door secured by a keypad. The door is labeled Level 7 Prototype Access. The door appears to be made of the same material that reinforces Battleship's hull, so you don't think any tools going to get through it. The scanner also detects that the room past the door is filled with pure oxygen. So any type of plasma cutter or explosive would destroy anything contained in that room, and potentially giving or potentially you and your crew as well. Input a random code. How about not? But I just don't do that. Uh, we'll leave this and see if we can use that at the coalition side. I can. There's a bolt and a thick metal sheet slides up entirely out of your way. You and your crew enter. Uh, two things get your eye. A strange handheld device on the desk about the size of a barrel and an active terminal somebody did not bother logging out of. Uh, check the terminal. It appears to have a confidential document open about a hijacked beacon that survivors plan to utilize to hide a plate sight from the Harmony. You swiftly drop down the beacon coordinates and might just use them when you turn to the ship. Uh, why did I leave? <laughs> I want to check the device. Uh, you examine the strange device. It almost looks like, a, looks like a weapon, but your initial impression is seemingly incorrect. You pick up the manual laying next to it. The gravitation repulsor is a new type of prototype we at the Coalition Wing are developing. Plan to eventually create a large scale ship sized version that can decouple engine nano machines from their bodies. For now, all we can do is push or pull small or metals or medium sized objects with metallic properties. That sounds handy. Um, barracks are still locked down, can't do anything with that, so we will leave. Uh, I guess we'll go up to the, um, because we can't do anything here. This is just blown up. And I don't think there's anything left to do in here. We might have been able to get... If I had found this first and then went and got the briefcase that might have had the key card for level 7 magic thing, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Don't have that, though. Uh, we will go into here. I need a code 2. Check the memo. The old age is very spelling, but if superiors ever heard, he wrote down the command code on a piece of paper. They kill him. Uh, turn the first letter of the areas of the Federation room wing into numbers. He doesn't, remember, or he doesn't remember the order. Pretty sure it starts with R&D room number, which is 18. No, player, if you can't figure it out, let's just give it to you. You just need the memo. Don't worry. Hooray. Um, use both. You input both uh, potential security codes, 1829 or 1892, and swipe the level 5 security code. There's silence for about 15 seconds, and then a ding. Hooray. Scramble to the command center hub. You review the entire station map from here, and besides... 
the room in the hydroponics, besides the room in the hydroponics, the coalition wing and the federation wing. The rest of the station is currently sealed off due to a security protocol. Yeah, found a single survivor and there's nowhere left to go. Uh, make a final decision. Okay. What will be your next course of action? This is where you will select an ending. Remember, you can use plus and minus to see the whole window. Side together all the supplies you can from the station and await rescue or reinforcements from the Federation. Yeah, that's going to go well. Uh, you aren't too confident that you've learned enough, but you worry about your crew and decide to take your chances, return the ship, and pick a nearby node to jump to, or jump directly to a camouflage beacon and your society set up nearby. Perhaps you can find something that isn't dead. Let's do that one. Hey, we got, uh... Wait. No, that, that's probably right. What? What's the... Yeah, that's probably right. Okay. Jump directly to a camouflage beacon, hoping you can find at least one friendly face. You're going to be stuck in the crumbling fleet. You might as well go down without regrouping. Thank you for playing. Okay. <laughs> Just the end. Okay. Well, that's that's one way of uh. <laughs> uh didn't didn't quite expect it just to be a text adventure for the rest of that. I'm okay with that though. Didn't really give a fair shake to <laughs> to the ship we were playing. Uh, that's fine. I mean, we rammed a man and killed him instantly. So, <laughs> what more could you really want? It would have been funny on the flagship to do that. I guess you would ram shields, probably. Get rid of all the shields. It'd be pretty funny. Oh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, the timeline is doomed. <laughs> How unfortunate. If only we had the, uh... The thingamagoob. Whatever it is. All right, boys, so me and the gerbils teamed up and we had another baked cell, so we're back here. I used the prototype, the repulsor thing, to get the case. So now we have the attache case. Uh, the, you open the attache case, thank goodness it wasn't locked, and pull out a couple pieces of paper. Notice, burn after reading, XR3347 prototype must not fall into harmony hands or our efforts will have been in vain. We have it currently sealed in the whole 7 prototype access and have made it extremely difficult for an entity like the Harmony to guess the code. The trick is that the number or the numeric pad is a farce. None of the four digit combinations will ever work. To successfully open the door, form the following. Hit all the keypad buttons at once. Wait six and a half seconds. Do it twice. Do not screw up the input or you'll be locked out for 12 hours. All right. Leave hydroponics. Go to the Federation, R&D, swipe the key card, search the room. Uh, you groan and enter the correct input. You follow the ridiculous prompt given by the memo. Hit all the keypads once. Hit wait. Do it again twice. Hey, reinforced door hums to life. It slides open, revealing the device inside. You look like or it looks like a portable antenna with a tiny terminal attached to it. They clearly did not want this falling into harmony hands, so you take it. Um, and that's about it. Nope. No idea what it is. I don't think it's on this list. I, for some reason, still have an incendiary grenade. That doesn't seem right. Also, my text does also not seem right. We're gonna have weird text now. And I hate it. <laughs> um, can I go back to, like... Take, take me back to... There we go. Regular times. Um, we... I think we just leave at this point. Uh, leave... Elevator, third floor, exit, straight, security, I gotta read the memo first. Security card and memo, make a final decision. Uh, that's a lot of things. I uh, got all supplies, wait, reinforcements, that'll definitely happen. Uh, we have a Jason Beacon with Harmony, keep those scoundrels at bay. We'll do the uh, emitter and coordinates. That's probably a good idea. Now directly to the camouflage beacon, hoping you find at least one friendly face left. You're going to be stuck in the scrolling future. You will have to go. You're not going down without regrouping and finding as hard as you can. 
If certain what is left of civilization will love to utilize this harmony of dissonance emitter against the harmony, it's the best plan you have, so you're sticking with it. Thank you for playing. Wow, that was that was such a great run. I'm sure I have a whole 12 points. <laughs> ah, secret harmony, bleak future ending. Hooray! That's <laughs> 60. 60 points for that run. That man, that was that was a real hard run. I can't believe we only made it to sector two. This has been like two hours, and we only <laughs> went through sector two. <laughs> but still, guys, this is a victory though. And we now have, uh, we actually got all the ships, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> got lots of bullets. So, uh, next time, I guess we're gonna do Gun Bomb Nation 2. Hopefully, it has guns.